How's it going guys? Horizon Retrowave has just been announced. We know all the new cars, all the new details about the entire update, which I'm going to cover everything in this video. Let's get straight into it. Here's everything you need to know about the brand new Fox Horizon 5 update, Horizon Retrowave. It's Series 34 and the update itself will come out on May the 21st, that is a Tuesday, on all consoles and then the update itself will roll over on the festival playlist on the 23rd. Let's take a look first at the festival playlist as the festival playlist has all five of the new cars within this update and they are some pretty damn cool cars so for the full series for 80 points you can get the first new car the envision 74 from 2022 instantly you can see that that car fits the retro theme that we are having for this month now for 160 points you can get the delorean dmc 12 also very fitting now onto the first week which is summer the for 20 points you can get the next new car the lamborghini countach from 2021 this is a car that we predicted over the past couple of weeks i was going to be very surprised if we didn't get this car within this update i've got a bit of gameplay of this car as well this will be available in summer for 20 points for 40 points you can get the ferrari 512 testarossa that is not a new car the Forzathon Shop has the Ferrari 288 GTO, the Nissan R390, Hot Wheels Sundress, a Dial Tone Horn and an Extreme E Pink Suit. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that first week. Second week, which is Autumn, for 20 points you can get the third new car, the BMW M6 from 1986 very old car we seem to be getting a mixture of old classic retro cars and new cars that are also retro sort of revised versions of older cars exactly what we predicted for 40 points you can get the bmw 850 csi the Forzathon shop for that second week has the Porsche 959, the Porsche 911 reimagined by Singer, Hot Wheels T, a Running Man emote and an Extreme E blue suit. Here are the rest of the challenges available that second week. Third week, which is winter, the next new car is available for 20 points, the Lotus Esprit from 1980, and for 40 points, the Honda NSX RGT. I don't think I have any gameplay of that Lotus Esprit, but that is the fourth new car. The Force of On Shop for that fourth week has the Lotus Avaya from 2020, the Lotus Elise GT1, Grit Reaper's Cap, a Cassette Horn, and a Lion Tank Top. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that third week. The fourth and final week, which is spring, has the fifth and final new car. For 20 points, the Citroen BX4 TC. Really cool looking car in my opinion. That is the fifth and final new car. Yes, there isn't a car pack within this update, surprisingly, but I'm not complaining. For 40 points, you can get the GMC Cyclone. And then in the Fortson shop, you can get the Ferrari F50, the Ferrari F40, a Raptors hoodie, get to the chopper emote and a bear tee. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that fourth and final week. So, that's the festival playlist and all of the new cars. Now, we have some quite big evolving world changes for this update as well. Let's talk about the evolving world stuff now. The Neon Highway shows up at the Horizon Festival to set the retro mood for the series. I have some gameplay of this on screen if you want to see it. On the Neon Highway, you'll spot lots of different decorations, all with a sweet neon groove. From neon rails to palm trees to tank mastocks scattered around the highway. Now, that's not the only thing that the Neon Highway has. All of the decorations on the highway will actually be synced up to the song that you are currently playing on your in-game radio. So pop a song on, go for a drive on the Neon Highway, and it should sort of sync themselves together, and it should look really damn cool. Now, you can just turn it off by either having your radio set to off, or it can be disabled in the accessibility settings as you can see through that route there. This isn't the only evolving world changes coming in this update. Neon decorations from Midnight at Horizon are coming back to races featured in Series 34. And the extended night cycles are coming back as well to get a better view of all the neon lights shining through the festival. So quite a few pretty interesting evolving world features within this update. Very cool and very nice to see. Now we also have some quite large a new event lab props as we can see here all of the details here now what's really cool is these props within the event lab will also be synced to your radio again it can be turned off 
I have some gameplay of the Event Lab props in action here. We've got walls and fences, we've got normal decorations with snap functionality, we've got lighting props, signs and flags and a gameplay prop. Lots to choose from, they are all pretty much the same props used over on the Neon Highway as we predicted in my last prediction video. They are going ham with adding new Event Lab props to the game at the moment and I am not complaining one bit. What else have we got? Well we obviously have the new radio station, we have information on that as well. As soon as you enter the game after installing the update on Tuesday, a new DJ Isabel Moss will, will welcome you to Horizon Wave, the synthwave radio station kicking off transmissions with the new update. It's a synthwave radio station by the looks of it, all of which you can see here. Again, pause the video, have a read through if you want to see all of these in detail. I'm not going to stay on the screen for too long, but yeah, new radio station and those are the artists and writers and all of their respective songs. There's a quick note about the song Encanto, the Mitch Murder remix. This, this song is actually streaming and DMCA friendly. So if you're a video or live stream creator and you hear this song pop up on May the 23rd, don't worry, it's DMCA friendly and you will not get copyrighted. Now there is a Minecraft collaboration within this update as well. It's nothing too fancy, but it's still worth mentioning. Crafted with the finest materials found across the Minecraft overworld Overworld, Overworld and the Nether, celebrate Minecraft's 15th anniversary with two new cosmetics items, which are the Minecraft Creeper Helmet and the Minecraft Enderman Helmet. You can redeem both of these in the Message Centre from this Thursday to December 31st, so you've got this entire year to do it. Here is what the helmets look like, as you'd expect, it's a Minecraft Creeper and a Minecraft Enderman. Really unexpected, but also really cool. We're not going to complain about free stuff, are we? More new stuff. We've got six new horns. This is a complete list of the flashback-inducing horns for you to enjoy. We've got cassette, cat wave, dial tone, plasma, synth horn, and synth toms. We have more stuff. We've got retro sunset collectibles. These drone suspended images of a quintessential wavy looking sunset can be found in week two in the Junas Blancas desert. There's also three new player badges available as well. I quite like that last one. I might try and get that one. But yeah, you can see the images of the new badges there. There's some more new cosmetics. We've got a new accolade for collecting all of the new cars. We've also got a new retro wave outfit as well. Lots of retro wave themed stuff, as you can imagine. And then there's also a list of bugs and fixes as well this isn't the full list of everything fixed there will be more than that but these are the ones that they have noted um, there's only four there so nothing really that exciting but that is the full horizon retro wave update quite lacking on the new cars i suppose most people expected more than just five but they weren't within a car pack the cars are pretty cool and we did pretty well at guessing what type of cars we'd get in my previous guest video so i am proud of that the next update looks really interesting as well it's going to supposedly have a highly requested car now what's interesting is they only really mention that when it really is a really high requested car this update for example gave us the lamborghini countach that is a highly requested car but they never told us that a highly requested car was coming so i've got high hopes that whatever this next update is coming car wise should be really high up on the requested car list i'm sure we'll see in just a few weeks leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all later